Mountains are pretty cool, but I'll tell you, kid, nothing beats going to the moon.
Mafia alone, you monster! Here, if Mafia give you this, will you go away? <laughs> You took your time. Help me out here. Get these brutes off my case and we can go inside. Hi there, young one. I am from a faraway land. I've seen every corner of the earth, and now I sell tiny pieces of my discoveries. You may call me the badge seller, for I sell and trade badges. I can provide you with strong abilities and upgrades to your hat, if you have money, of course.
If small child get gambling problem, it's her own fault. These roulette tables purely for looks. No gambling here. You should leave. This no place for little girl. Most places not for child. Troubling you, little girl. Mafia not know what child brings. Whatever problem is, Mafia sure you can deal with it. You look like tenacious type. Not leave problem alone. Other little girl run into kitchen if you are looking for her. She look like unruly type. Keep eye on her. <laughs> The Mafia are terrible at cooking, but fear not. Cooking Cad is here. I'll prepare the actual dinner up here and swap the food before anybody eats the Mafia's cooking. I'm fairly certain someone would die if they ate the Mafia prepared food. Hello. Test, 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 test. Okay. Working out. Kid, open this thing up and I'll keep guard here.
Since you landed in Mafia Town, it's been raining with these magical hourglasses. You must be very lost, kid with the hat. You're in the heart of our town, standing before the most powerful man you will ever witness. Everything you've ever owned belongs to me now, including this hourglass piece. If you want it, We'll have to settle it in true Mafia style! Right! Action! It is showtime! Oh, <laughs> 
So what do these things do anyway? Are they some sort of rare collector's item for nerds? Are they some sort of rare co Wait, huh? Gonna use them to fight evil, then I will. Mm. I'm not gonna let this island remain as Mafia Town. I'll collect all the timepieces for myself. You have my word on it. That was, that, that was pretty hilarious. I think I accidentally skipped it. Oh. <clears throat> so hungry. Non-visual toy. Party quest. <gasps> that sounds cool. Ow. 
Ah, go south. Let's go south again. <laughs> I'm a dog. I'm gonna talk to Barry. Oh, I got a sword for dog. Okay, never mind. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Uh, uh what's her? <clears throat> Earth does not exist. We don't exist. No, indoors. Indoors all week. I mean, I do have pizza. <laughs> you have value. Take care of yourself. Be good to yourself and others. Oh, wow, I needed that computer. Internet. Surf the net. <laughs> no pizza? Okay, <laughs> that was fun. <clears throat> Hashtag treat yourself. Okay.
movie studio is too big for the both of us, DJ. Gruz. The movie should be made by real birds. You moon penguins are just gonna write some loud, noisy treble. If I wanted a bunch of picnics to dance around while on birdseed, ha! I'd visit my grandchildren. <laughs> nonsense, darling, nonsense. You owl express birds are just gonna record another boring train-related western. You've done so for the last ten years, darling. What? No, we haven't, your buffoon! Conductor, darling, this year we'll be winning the annual Bird Movie Award, as our new movie props will bring in the audiences. <coughs> These shiny things fell from the sky. They will light our movie sets and fill them with glimmer. Oh, yeah? Well, this time around, we're also spicing it up with our newest movie props. These hourglass thingies will be the grand jewel in our train heist western. What the what? You no good dirty picnics! You copied our props! I would never, darling. Clearly, you're the one who took inspiration in my flashy new props. <clears throat> He's funky. Look at him. He's just getting down. Look at that. Shake it. Shake it. Mm, work it. Damn. He's getting... Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. He is getting down. <clears throat> That's awesome. Oh, that does it! Get out of here with ya! I've got a movie to record! Fine by me, darling. But we'll be the ones who win the annual Bird Movie Award. Mark my word. He's wearing platforms! Oh, look at that. Look at that. Got some, like, James Brown in there. Will you do when you can't get into the reception? <laughs> oh, wait, uh, chuck my picnics inside the studio will force them to work harder. All right, time to go, owls. Let's make our killer movie. And, uh, receptionist, can you please close off that vent already? I don't want the smell of penguin to come anywhere near my crew. <coughs> huh? You want that movie prop they carried in? Mm -hmm. Are you the kind of person that sells movie props on eBird? eBird. What happened? What happened? It just crashed. Okay. <coughs> That's weird. I'll just skip it. Are you the kind okay. Uh, hi there. I'm an express owl, which really just means I ride the Owl Express that the conductor runs. I need to ride the train to get hey, to work. Hey, that guy again. But the conductor makes unexpected. I have no idea why we're at a movie studio. I need to be at work in 15 minutes. 
I don't really get this feud between the conductor and DJ Grooves. Like, why does a train operator and the disco guy want to compete? We're all birds here, right? Shouldn't we cooperate? Birds of a feather. I don't know. I guess cooperating is kind of stupid. I guess. Yeah. Just ignore me. Have you come to make another purchase? What? Why is that useful? Hey, little girl, you should join our DJ Gru's fan club. You get a membership card and everything. It's a real good deal for any movie going bird. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I got sunglasses. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, uh, what? What? You see my fingers here? I'm in debt. You see how they're snapping? That is the universal bird sign for beat it. Oh, look, my <clears throat> fingers have taken a liking to you. Look at them go. Snap, snap, snap. You catch my drift? You're an asshole. I wanted to ask this reception guy a question, but he hasn't acknowledged me at all. Uh, but now I've been standing here for so long, it'd be awkward to start up a conversation. I really suck at interacting with other birds. Feels like me. Oh, hey, little chirper. They're recording right now, so no one's allowed in. Wait, wait, wait. They're only insured for bird staff. Letting you in would be a liability. Don't even think about sneaking inside. <clears throat> That's JonTron. Young lady, if I catch you in the studio, you'll receive a ticket so big you'll be in debt for years. <clears throat> Make more content. Make more content. Young lady, if I catch you in the studio, you'll receive a ticket so... Flex tape three! Give me flex tape three!
Oh no! <gasps> no! Oh, it's so dark. It's so dark. Oh, 
so on a cat. What? What? Fuck you, cactus. Yeah. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. Who wants the role of handsome painter? Okay, there has to be something going on over here. a lever. since I still burn. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. There's a chest. Oh, 
run, run, run. So intense, so intense. Magnificent, stunning. This trophy is everything I desire on the shelf in my living room. Of course, this big trophy is just a plastic replica. The actual trophy is really tiny. Oh my, oh my, what is that I see? Is it true inner beauty? An innocent soul with a heart of gold? I don't have two sunglasses on. Oh no, it's just a little girl. Hello. <laughs> oh wait, you're not a penguin. Nope. Oh, that's good. I could use some non-penguin company around here. As Frank all has... my penguins are frankly terrible actors. Here's the biz. I need your help. I'm on a terrible losing streak and I just have to win this next annual bird movie award. There's no doubt, I absolutely must have you as the star. Here, let me take care of this. Yay. <laughs> we need to give you a bird passport, darling. Step right over here. <laughs> the most important part of a passport is the picture, darling. You have to look flashy and stunning. Step right over here. Let's take the pic. Okay, put on a smile and stand still, please. Don't. Let's see how the picture turned out. I'm pretty sure it went awful. Darling, you're not very photogenic. I'm huh? not. I'm not. We've got to fix this ugly mug shot up with some old fashioned photo doctoring. Here, take these markers and turn yourself into the most stylish, fashionable young lady.
Let's slide this picture into your passport, and here you go. One passport for you. Wonderful, darling. Oh, just wonderful. Meet me at the movie set tomorrow, and we'll make you a star. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Oh, you can't just jump in and fiddle with the annual third movie awards. That's fraud! Fraud! Hey, everyone! We've got a fraudster over here! Oh. <sighs> Where are my owl guards at? Oh, why are the owls so darn useless? Uh. All right, listen here, lass. You're in big trouble. If you're helping crooked DJ Grooves rig the awards, and I can't take you to jail, then you've got to help me even the score. That's right. You've got to be the star of my movies, too. Here, hold our newest prop. Practice showing it off and bring it to my movie set tomorrow. You got that? Don't be late. spaceship you have here. Sorry for the break and entering. I just really wanted to see what an alien spaceship is like. You know, I expected aliens to be more green and probably with a thirst for flesh. <laughs> but I guess you aliens come in all shapes and sizes, huh? Hey, if you're looking to explore our planet, you'll need to understand it first. Otherwise, you all know if you're stepping on grass or quicksand. <laughs> Don't know how to identify relics? Fear now. Cook and Cade is here. I'll let you have this burger cushion relic for free. You can identify this relic at the podium. 
If you place them on the podium in the correct order, you might be able to make sense of it. Hmm. If you're able to identify a relic, something great might happen. You never know, so keep an eye out for relics. I've taught you everything I know about relics. Welcome back, lassie. I haven't written a script for my next movie yet, so we're not recording. I'll call for you when the script is ready. From one owl to another, we can share details, yes? What is your uncle's sister's maiden name? from a fellow express owl. It is. <laughs> Hello, fellow express owl. Do you care about security? I care about security a whole lot. You should not be going around telling information to strangers. It could be a security risk. Big, big security risk. I can help your daily life become more secure. What is your favorite combination of letters and numbers? I see. I see. Is also my favorite combination of letters and numbers. <laughs> I swear, this game, it's... Did you notice that there's suddenly a lot of crows on this train? They all gone on to the last stop. Speaking of, at which stop did you get on the train? What do you mean you fell from the sky? Did you know that having a pet helps improve self-confidence and relieve stress? Did you also know that pets can have pets? It is true. Unfortunately, us express owls are not allowed to have pets. It is a sacrifice we must make in the name of hooting. You don't really hoot if you're a crow. You caw. But if you had a pet, what do you think the name of your pet's childhood pet would be? <clears throat> Classic. Mm -hmm. Is certainly an interesting name for a pet, even for a pet's pet. <laughs> uh, 
Have you noticed all these crows around the place? They keep asking for personal details, and I never know what to answer. No, 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 no. advanced formula on the blackboard. I cannot decipher it. Can you decipher the scientific formula for me? What does it say? I see. The solution is... It was obvious. Thank you, fellow, and thank you for agreeing to the terms and conditions on the backside of the blackboard. What? 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 Oh, dang! I don't get it. How is this a scientific equation of any kind? It's just scrambled numbers and letters, like those you see on an online form. It's really difficult to get settled down on this train with these crows crowding the place. They keep interviewing me about everything I do. Uh. Fellow Express Owl, do you ever wonder what it would be like to be a superhero? The most important feature of a superhero is the name. Every superhero needs an intricate name to their fame. If you were a superhero, what would your name be? Pizza. Entered on an online form with standardized account identification requirements. That name is great. I can already I know. imagine it. It's a the classic. Mighty... <laughs> Savior of justice. I'll just write your answer down here real quick. Sauce on the pizza. There was way too much sauce on the pizza. Body part of yours are you the most ashamed of, fellow Express Owl? Let's say penis. Oh, poor Express Owl. You shouldn't be ashamed of your. Uber. <laughs> uber, uber.
thought you'd better get your ruler, ruler, checked out by a doctor. I went online. It could be a sign of the ruler. I, I need to take a break. <coughs> oh my god, I need to take a break. Oh my god, I need to take a break. Oh my god, that was, that was so good. <coughs> that was so good. I'm done. I'm fucking done. I'm done. Oh my god. God, that was great. That was great. That was so great. Game of the year. Game of the decade. <coughs> oh, my throat. <coughs> my throat. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Okay. Okay. So good, so freaking good. <clears throat> oh my god, that was great. That was so good. <clears throat> oh my god. <clears throat> Wait! Don't come in here! I lost my contact lens somewhere. Please, don't step on it. I can't move out of the way. I might step on it myself. Wait, don't come in here.
that's kind of cool. Is this a kid with a hat? I hope you like my prison. <laughs> Not my pizza, no. <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> it's gonna say penis. I know it's just gonna fucking say penis. I just know it. I just know it. That name is great. I can oh, I'll just write your answer down. Come on, walk through. <clears throat> It's really difficult. They keep interviewing me. Oh my god, I'm dead. I'm so fucking dead. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> I'm dead. Someone would murder one of the express owls! And I can't believe even more that it's your uncle's sister! What do you have to see for yourself? Ooh, you're giving me the quiet treatment, eh? That's what a murderer... Leave this case to us. <laughs> We're Ka, the Crow Agent Watch. Ka. We've been monitoring everyone on this train since the last station. We'll be searching the entire train for evidence. <clears throat> no one is allowed to go outside of this wagon. What? I can't even walk around in my own train! Oh, how dare ya! Once the clock hits midnight, We'll get off at the station with the murderer in cuffs. Stay here while we investigate further. <laughs> oh, those car picnics can't tell me what to do. <laughs> I bet they committed the murder, and they're destroying all the evidence. I hope no one goes into the VIP area and accidentally steps on my contact lens. Let's go in the back again. Let's go to the front. There could be evidence. Oh shit.
Oh crap. Um such a good line. That's dumb. Closer. Someone without clues. The clock is ticking. 
Will you be able to find the clues to point your finger at the murderer? Switch for I need more. I need more. <sighs> I need another key. Okay.
Ooh, so close. No, puppy!
I saved the puppy. Is that the only thing that's in this room? Thank you, kind human, for saving me. I found this clue on the murderer. Hope it helps you. I need two more, two more, two more, two more, two more. Uh, wait, wait. There. Almost there. Okay, I got the key. All the clues, all the clues. Time's up. So, um, who done it? 
I don't know. We don't know. They don't know either. Uh, we couldn't find any conclusive evidence. We have no idea who murdered this owl. What? So you done pickle to solve the case? <laughs> Who's the murderer? Murderer. Which one are you dead at? Who's the murderer? Oh my god. Or is it this guy? Oh my god. <laughs> Who? Okay. It does serve at all costs. You guys are shady. I've got eyes everywhere, but we saw nothing. Who? Who? Hmm. There's like no hints. Like you're sweaty, but they're part like the FBI. This guy's shifty, but he was all the way on the other side. This is the only guy that was close to um uh to, to the crime scene besides this cutout. <laughs> um oh. I don't want to be a peck neck. No no Okay. The voices. The voices wouldn't stop. This is the only one that I actually like, think of. Me? I can't be the murderer. I'm the conductor. What? No, seriously, what? No, it wasn't me. Stop. Cut it out! All right, fine. <gasps> it was me. I did it. There, you nailed happy. it. How'd you figure out it was me? Hmm? I tried really hard to avoid being the villain in my own movie. The express owl isn't even dead. I just gave him the rubber knife and asked him to play dead for a few hours. Yeah, can I go now? I'm kind of sore from playing dead for so long. Nailed it. This rubber knife is also a bit uncomfortable. Well, thanks for solving the murder, lassie. Not only did you reveal the murderer, you also revealed that the victim was never harmed. And you gave us intense footage for the movie. What? You think I'd let a murder happen on my Owl Express? Oh, think again. That was all just a setup for my newest Owl Express movie. Murder on the Owl Express. Oh, you think DJ Picnic will make a movie that's even remotely as good? Ha! I think not. Here, take this thingamajig and get out of here. Some girl. 